Hey everyone! This is your new Roku streaming stick. Everything you need to get up and streaming is in the box. Your streaming stick, remote control, power adapter, USB power cable, batteries, and quick start guide. First, find an available HDMI input on your TV. Be sure to note which HDMI input you choose, so you can also tune your TV to the same source. Then insert the Roku streaming stick. If your Roku streaming stick will not connect to your TV due to space restrictions, we offer a free HDMI extender cable. Order yours at my.roku.com slash HDMI. Now on your TV remote, look for the button labeled input or source or something similar. Toggle to the same input you used for the Roku streaming stick. Don't worry, you won't see anything on screen just yet. Now, let's power up your Roku streaming stick and remote. First, connect the small end of the USB power cable into the Roku streaming stick like this, and the other end into the USB port on your TV. Or preferably, use the included power adapter to plug directly into a wall outlet. Insufficient power from a TV USB port can lead to instability, crashing, or other unpredictable behavior. In a few moments, the Roku logo will fill your TV screen. Just in case it didn't, be sure you're tuned in to the correct input on your TV. If you want more help with this part, visit go.roku.com slash select input. Next, insert the included batteries into your remote and make sure they're seated firmly and positioned correctly. A light on your remote will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. If there's no light, try a fresh set of batteries. After the Let's Get Started screen, your remote should pair automatically. If it doesn't, press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. A light in the battery compartment or on the remote will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. Once successful, select your language. Now, let's connect your Roku player to your network so you can activate your Roku account and start streaming your favorite movies and TV shows over the internet. If you don't see your network listed, select Scan Again to see all networks. Remember, you're looking for the same network you connect your computer or your smartphone to. Now, select your wireless network and enter your wireless password. Remember, your password is case sensitive. Use this button when you need to capitalize the letter. If all checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, we've got troubleshooting tips at go.roku.com slash connectivity. Your Roku player will download the latest software so you can get the latest features and channel updates automatically. When the update completes, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote and your Roku player will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If your screen is displaying correctly, select Yes, Screen Looks Good, or select No, and manually choose a resolution. Once it's set, you're ready to move on. Now let's set up your Roku remote to control the volume and power on your TV. Select Check Remote Settings, and music will begin playing. If you hear it, point the Roku remote at your TV and confirm. If you don't hear it, turn up the volume with your TV remote. Next, your Roku remote will attempt to mute the volume. Confirm that you no longer hear the music. Or, if it's not muted, manually enter the brand of your TV and try again. Next, you'll see the activation screen showing your link code which you'll use online later to link your Roku player to your Roku account. Use a computer, tablet, or smartphone for this part. In a web browser, enter roku.com slash link, exactly like that. If you see this screen, type in the activation code shown on your TV. If instead you see results from a web search or a completely different web address altogether, enter the URL again. That's roku.com slash link. Just type it right into the web browser. Your activation code takes you here, where you can either sign into your existing Roku account 
or if you don't yet have one, create it now. To prevent unwanted purchases, set a security pin. And next, you'll be prompted to save a payment method, which makes it easier to rent or purchase content right from your couch. Your consent is required to authorize these charges. Finally, add some of your favorite channels now so they'll be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add more later, and of course, remove any you no longer want. Almost there. To complete activation, just scroll down and click Continue. And have a look. Your channels start populating on your TV immediately. Now is a great time to grab your smartphone or tablet and download the Roku mobile app for iOS and Android. Your app turns your device into a fully functioning Roku remote for your Roku player and lets you display photos on your TV, or use your headphones for private listening, and plenty more. That's it, your Roku streaming stick is all set up to enjoy great entertainment. If you need help adding or removing streaming channels, or if you want to personalize the Roku home screen, visit support.roku.com. You'll also find tips for optimizing your wireless network and steps for troubleshooting. Happy streaming!